What's up guys? So I'm out in the shop today going to try out this new uh, tool I got in the mail. Uh, this is called the Chain Monkey by True Tension. Uh, pretty much this is going to take up for the slack in the chain and adjust the right amount of slack in your chain every time. So what happens is you need to find out your slack for your chain which mine's 2 to 2.4 inches. You need to measure your chain size which my chain is a 14.5 millimeter and you measure it that way on the link you know up and down and mine's a 14 and a half so that would put me in this second category here uh, for 14 to 17 millimeter at the top and then I'm down here at the 2.1 to 2.5 range so that would make me at the number three mark and you've got five well actually six including because it starts at zero so you've got six different settings so that would put me at the number three mark so what I need to do to set this up to get it ready is move this all the way up on here and you can see there's numbers on the back of this sticker so pretty much the bottom of this black piece here needs to be even with one of those lines so you just screw it all the way up uh, until it's even which I believe I have this set already so I can just screw it all the way up to that black nub but pretty much you line up the bottom of this even with the number three there and then you tighten this little nub. This is a lot harder to move because you don't want it to move as much once you get the setting. But pretty much you tighten it all the way up to your, tighten this nub all the way up. Once this is set, tighten that all the way up. And then that's your setting. And then you can back it all the way off. And then you're ready to go ahead and adjust the slack out of your chain. So pretty much I'm going to get the bike on the lift. That way it's up off the ground. We're going to find a tight spot in the chain. And then we're going to loosen our adjusters, put the chain monkey on, tighten it all the way up, tighten our adjusters so the chains, the, there's no slack in the chain, and then you take this off, and then you've got the proper amount of slack. But like I said, that's all it does is it, it takes the, it, it sets the slack in the chain uh, per your manual for whatever you need, but it, it doesn't do a couple things. It won't find the tight spot in the chain because you have to adjust your chain on the tight spot. And it also will not center your wheel on there because you you know you've got your axle hub going through there and it could, it can be tilted like this which is going to make your chain crooked. So you need to that's one thing it's not going to do. So you have to make sure your your chain is or your uh, axle is straight too by your by your adjuster plate settings back here or your you know rear adjusters if you don't have the adjuster plates to go by. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. So it's got a few steps on here you can follow, but pretty much it just says uh, identify your chain settings, set the chain monkey, tighten the chain monkey, adjust the chain, and you're done. And then it gives you a few tips. If your chain has a tight spot, apply chain monkey to this point. That's, you know, if you've got a new chain, you're not going to have a tight spot most likely because it's a new chain. If the chain's got some miles on it, you're probably going to have a bit of a tight spot depending on... Uh, the chain and you know some chains are worse than others it just depends on what you have and then also it says you may need to apply the rider's weight during adjustment consult your manufacturer's manual my manual says just to have the bike on the side stand which you know kickstand down the bike sitting on its own weight that kind of thing and then the measurements represented in this table equal the total amount of chain up and down so when you measure your chain we'll just use this when you measure your chain you measure from the pins directly in the middle of the pins. So you push that chain all the way up, measure, you put the tape measure on the pin at the top, then you let the chain fall, and then you see how many inches it, it's dropped or millimeters, whatever you're measuring in. And that's how you get your uh, chain, and you can, you can check this afterwards. So once this sets it, we're gonna check it to make sure that it's uh, accurate and everything, and uh, go from there. So stay tuned, and we're gonna get working on this and get the bike up on the lift. And the next thing is we need to have the bike on a center stand like this. I don't have a center stand, but I have a, a lift. So now the back tire is off the ground. And pretty much what we're going to do is find the tight spot in the chain. So if you look, I have set up a note card with lines on it. So you're not going to be able to see it as good as me, but you're going to be able to see the chain moving. So pretty much we're just going to spin the tire and if you watch the line you can see it kind of raise and lower there on the on the chain if I let me hold the bike still so you can see it raise and lower and right back there was the tight spot it just went by 
All right, right here is the tight spot. So that's where we're going to want to adjust that. And you, you, you need to make sure that you do find the tight spot because that's definitely where you've got to adjust that. So right here is my tight spot. Uh, pretty much all chains are going to have a tight spot if, if it's been on there for a length of time. If it's a new chain, you're probably not going to have a tight spot. So keep that in mind. But right there is my tight spot. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up all these adjusters. So I've got this one on this side, on the other, and then I'm going to loosen this axle bolt. So stay tuned. I'm going to get that loose. All right, guys, I had some company, so I kind of had to quit for a minute. But anyway, so now we're to the point that we are ready to put the uh, chain monkey on. So we found our tight spot using our note card and rolling the wheel. And I've got all the adjusters back here loose on the end and then the main bolt. So this, this is all loose, so that axle can slide now. So what we're going to do now is take it off the center stand because we want to adjust the chain on the side stand. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to let the jack down and we'll be back. Alright, so now we're on the side stand and we have our chain monkey adjusted all the way out because we already set this to the proper uh, setting. So now we're going to tuck this up under here like this. And then we're going to want to put position this uh, to the midpoint between our, our front sprocket and our rear sprocket. I know you're not going to be able to see it as good as me, but I've only got two hands and this tripod's a little bit tall. So pretty much we're going to start tightening this up until we get to the, uh, the adjuster nub that we set down there. So we're going to tighten it all the way to that. All right, so now that plastic spacer down underneath here is just touching the bottom of that, and that's what we want. And you can see the chain's got a kink in it because that's going to be our play. So now what we've got to do is come back to the back, and we are going to tighten our chain until it's tight. So pretty much we're just going to... So see, we've still got some play up here, so now we are going to... Uh take that out. I'm just going to loosen it off for a second make sure it's all the way loose. Yep, both sides are all the way loose with play in them. Alright, so fully loose and we've got play here with the chain monkey tight. So what we're going to do now is tighten this all the way up. Back here. Alright, so now up here we're pretty well tight. I can barely move that. And now I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera because I'm going to go to the other side and adjust it. Alright guys, so I've got both sides of the tensioner tightened and I've got my axle bolt. And when you're doing that, you still want to make sure that your uh, wheel is centered by using your marks and everything. Like I said, mine on my other side is a little bit out of adjustment so it takes me a little bit longer. But, uh, just make sure your chain's adjusted because the chain monkey's not going to do that. All the chain monkey does is put the proper slack in there. So we're done with everything. All we have to do now is take this off. And we're, we should have the proper slack. If I can figure out uh, lefty loosey righty tidy. Upside down's not not the same. But yeah. Anyways, take it off. And now we should have the proper amount of slack. And the only thing I see is that the uh, the ball on here is already getting ate up. If you can see that, 
doesn't really matter because there's a metal ball underneath it and the rubber is just kind of there to, I don't know, wear away. But Anyway, it's off there now. So now we should have the proper amount of slack and by the looks of it, we do. But we're going to get down there and measure that. So take your note card off if you've still got that on there. But keep it for future because uh, every time you do your chain, you're going to have to find that tight spot. Because you always want to adjust in the tight spot. All right, so now what, we, what we're going to do is actually check our work here. So you're, like I said, you're not going to be able to see it as good as me, but pretty much go on your uh, center point, push your chain all the way up. What you're going to want to do is measure from one of your pins when it's, other, when it's at the bottom and when it's at the top, and that's when you start. So put it, push it all the way up as far as it'll go. Put your tape measure on the pin you're going to measure, and then let that pin drop. And then wherever that pin drops on your tape measure, that's where it's going to be. So we're going to do that. So right dead center on the pin, and then let, let that drop. And that looks like it's just over two inches, which is my exact amount of play. And that looks like about where I measure it because they say you'll know you have the right play on the on the Gen 1 KLR if you push this up and it just barely touches this piece here. So I can tell you that it's aligned at that point. And then like I said, it's uh, aligned at these pins. So we'll drop it from right there. It's kind of hard to do it without... Uh, let me just put the tape measure on the ground. That might be easier. Without hitting the button there, that is. Alright, so there we go. There's that. All the way on there, then let it drop. And it's just over two inches, which is almost dead on our uh, setting. Let me find this paper. So our actual setting here was, uh, we can see this. It was uh, 2.1 to two and a half inches. So we're just over two inches. So that's absolutely perfect slack right there. A lot better now. So now pretty much I can adjust it every time. So now I don't have to sit here and fiddle with loosening and tightening this back here to get that proper slack and then measuring it. I can just put the chain monkey on there at the proper setting, tighten this all the way up, center this, and then take the chain monkey off and I'm done. So it's, it's going to save me a bit of time. It was a $35 tool, but I think it's going to save me quite a bit of uh, hassle and checking this and measuring and everything. Because really, I don't have to measure it. I just measured it this time to check my work. Uh, but anyway, um, that'll kind of be it for today. And I just kind of wanted to show that thing. It's, it's a really neat tool, and uh, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Because it pretty much says it improves performance, prolongs sprocket life, and increases chain life, optimizes power delivery in a smoother ride. And what they mean by the power delivery is, you know, if your chain's wearing properly, it should be pulling on all these teeth all the way around at the same time. If it's wearing improperly, it may only be pulling on half of these and the rest of them will be slacked on the chain because the chains wore out in a weird way. So you're, you're not getting all your power delivery. Whereas if it's wearing right, you're actually pulling all the way around on all the teeth of the sprocket. So that's kind of some uh, cool info there for you. But anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you watching. We'll go ahead and show you the good old sticker board Midwest Motor Rider, Texas Viking, MYBR31, One Life ADV. And he's sending me another sticker for my sticker board, but I've got his other one down here, Drive Shaft Drew. Check him out on YouTube, everybody. And uh, like I said, send me some stickers because. Uh, I'd like to uh, stick them around. But uh, I got this bike washed up. We're going to do the chain on that. I don't know if I'll film it. I may just uh, adjust it. It needs cleaned and everything. But yeah, other than that, you know, just uh, got the shop completely cleaned up. And it's looking pretty good now. I normally try to keep it pretty clean. But, you know, having projects in and out of here all the time. Uh, these are just sitting here for now. That came out of my wife's vehicle that we traded in. So that's just there till I uh, find a buyer for it. But yeah, 
kind of got the fan in the door here to cool it off. Got the TV up, got the old Xbox out here because uh, it's got a lot of emulators and ROMs and stuff on it, so it's pretty cool to have out here and you can uh, play all the old, you know, NES games, Super NES, uh, arcade games, whatever you want. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys ever seen these in my video. These are my uh, lockers. These were my dad's before he passed away, but these make really good motorcycle lockers, so. Uh, if you're looking for something like that, these are made by Suncast. I don't know what they would cost new, but I've got two of them here, and they've got a shelf on top, and they've got a thing there for hangers. You know, I keep my boots down there and all my motorcycle gear. So those are pretty neat. But anyway, guys, I'm kind of rambling on now. So thanks for watching. If you've stayed this long, I appreciate it. And uh, send me some stickers. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.